This video is to introducing machine learning in economics. What is machine learning? Machine learning is using algorithms to analyze data set. These algorithms is either um, set to make predictions about some variables given others, or classify units on the basis of limited information. So what does machine learning do? There are some examples. First, Facebook recognizes faces in photos. Also, Siri understands voices. And Google translates websites. They are all examples of machine learning. What do economic economists do? So economists are using data to solve problems. And these problems typically trying to answer causal relationships. For example, what is the relationship between GDP and unemployment rate? Does college major affect people's salary in the finance industry? And the normal process of, uh, of um, um, develop uh, economic questions is first to develop a research question identify the most important part is to identify the causal relationships between the variable of that you are interested in. Second, select the sample and then choose the math choose the appropriate models and then evaluate the results that you get from the model. However, sometimes not all the questions you want to answer have models to use. Or not all the data you, you use in, our, in the estimation model have the explanational power. So for example, what if you just want to predict why? Or what if you have an operative appropriate model selection, or what if the sample size is too large, you can't handle it, or it's too small, you worry about the precision. Let me give you the details of these uh, what ifs. Now, I think from the previous slides, you have already familiar with machine learning is data-driven algorithms to make predictions. So some, in economics, sometimes we may not want to estimate x in order to predict y. So we may just want to predict y. So for example, what is the probability of re-offending? In this case, machine learning may more efficient to predict y. Second, suppose you want to estimate the fx of college major on people's salary in the finance industry and you expected that the college major do, does affect people's salary and you choose model A then it gives you the results that you want but however when you try model B and model C you cannot obtain the results that you want but if you use machine learning you don't need to handle this problem. Alternatively, economists have traditionally put too much emphasis about the structure of the problems. For example, like the causal nature of estimates, the endogeneity of variables, the configuration of data, the motivated by the motivation, the motivated by economic theories. But when you're using machine learning, machine learning has a little emphasis on these structures. You just use data set to make predictions. Sometimes you can also do out of sample prediction. Lastly, um, so you may have a specific economic problems you're interested in, but the data set is very large and you're not sure which confounders or variables you need to include in the model and on the other hand the data set may be very small and you don't know if the model 
that you use can explain the causal relationships because of this small data set. By all these situations, you can benefit from using machine learning techniques. So machine learning algorithms can control for co-founders or discovering treatment effects heteronalities. So the functions of machine learning in economics. So machine learning techniques are not designed to identify causal relationships, rather they aim to produce accurate and actionable prediction. And it can be used in very large or very small data sets and it can avoid an appropriate model selection and it gives us an alternative statistic tools. There are some uh, methods that we often use in economics. Like when you do global or parametric predictors, you can use lasso, rich regression, subsite selection, and local or non-parametric predictors, you can use decision trees, nearest neighbors, kernel regression, and when you use mixed predictors, you can use uh, deep learning, neutral nets, and splines. Let me give an example of this. So there are the famous paper from um, Nathan and this in 2017. They use um, they use um, they want to predict uh, house price in the United States. So they use a dependent variable as a log of house price in the United States in 2011. So the sample size in, th in their paper is 51,808 um, 51, potential regressions uh, 150 so they use um, five prediction models so they use a traditional economics model or S or ordinary least square they use regression tree lasso random forced and ensemble first they train model on 10,000 observations and then they fit preferred model. So the preferred model is a model that um, in above the, the, the five models in above on these 10,000 observations. And then they predict using the, this model on remaining 41,808 observations. Here are the results they get from these models. Conclusion, so there are two cultures in the use of statistic modeling to reach conclusions from data sets. First, assume that the data are generated by a given stochastic model. Second, use algorithmic models and treat, and treat the data mechanisms as unknown. So nowadays, you can see more economics papers that using that are using uh, machine learning techniques. So here we can see that machine learning techniques is another set of tools help to solve problems. Thank you. Thank you. Here is the end of my presentation.